Football Sunday, are you with me? Are you with me? Let's go. Penny here, GhostPixATS.com, the number one sports consultant in the business. Sunday, December 11th, NFL Sunday. We at it. We at it. Looking for another good day in the NFL. You know we've been doing good in the NFL. Ben Dog. Ben Dog. Little up and down and some other stuff, but the Ben Dog have been crushing in the NFL. And uh, NFL has been good. You you know what else is good? UFC is good. UFC is great. UFC is my baby. That's my baby. Let's go. Big UFC event. Big UFC event winner for the Ben Dog. Hit our pellet. I should have swept yesterday in the UFC. The only loss I had was on um, uh, Jared Gordon against Patty Pimblett. And it, we got robbed. We definitely got robbed. There's no doubt about it. Uh, if you watched it, you would know. So, uh, big UFC event, big UFC event winner outcome for the Ben Dog. Okay, we hit our parlay. Uncle Liev was a draw, which to me was also bogus. If you watch that, I mean, you be the decision. You be the judge. You be the judge. Fortunately, I'm not a judge for the, oh, unfortunately, I guess. I should be a judge for the UFC, maybe. But, um, I dropped our, lay, our parlay. Uncle, the Uncle Live draw dropped our parlay from four legs to three legs. We had Rojas Jr., 18 year old phenom, Shabazian, and we had Cameron Simon. So, uh, three. it was a three leg. It was initially a plus 201 parlay. It dropped to six. I don't know what it dropped to. But my whole UFC, it was a sweep. It was a sweep. It should have been a sweep. Jared Gordon got robbed in the fight. I did go. I went against Patty, and I don't dislike Patty. I don't, but I saw, jo I don't know. I saw something in J uh, Jared Gordon and you know, I took him. I took him. I really like his toughness. I really like how humble he is. I think Jared Gordon won the fight. I do. I, and I, and I took Gordon knowing that if the fight were to end in a decision and it was even slightly, slightly close, obviously Patty's going to get the nod. I know that. I know that. I took that knowing that. I took Jared Gordon knowing that. But I don't think it was close. I don't think it was close. I don't. So that was my only loss on the entire card, and it was plus 210. We had Blahovich and Kalaev all over two and a half for a winner. Toporio was a winner. Rosenstrike was a winner. Strong dude. Uh, and then Quarantillo was a, wi a winner. Very profitable day in the UFC. Big money in the UFC. It was big money in the UFC yesterday. No doubt about it. No doubt. UFC is always fire. It's always fire. The day card I lost on Celtics. The day card. I know I've been a, a little up and down on the day card. And I was like, eh, you know. Day card I lost on the Celtics. Uh, the Army Navy under 32 and a half lost. It's the first time in 17 years that that total has gone over the uh, 31 and a half. 17 years. And it was like 10 to 3. Till some late touchdown sent it to overtime. It was fluky. It was very fluky. And that's the way my cookie has been crumbling in some of my picks lately. Winner on the lightning in hockey. I think that was probably the best bet of the day. Right? It was, I think it was like a gimme. I think that I think that was Justin's red alert too. Shouts to Justin. Lost on Nashville in hockey. Winner on um St. Joe's in college hoops. Lost on the World Cup, England, France, under two and a half. Winner on Portugal, Morocco, under two and a half. And then lost on Blackburn, Preston, under two and a half. That's the full recap for Saturday. And the, more of the, we freaking crushed UFC. If you're not on my UFC, crazy. Madness. It's madness. I think I've won my last eight events or something like that. Absolute madness if you're not on my UFC. Crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. It's a, it's it, oh it's always like my top sport right now. NFL is my top sport. We have Sunday fun day today. Nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. NFL has been hot. UFC has been smoking freaking hot. We're gonna go right into shout out of the day. First off for today, tell me your favorite bet of the day in the comment section. Tell me the top fantasy football scorer of the day in the comment section as well. Shout out of the day for today. First off, the, I am doing an honorary shout out to Tyler Harker's. For being at UFC 282 yesterday. Very jealous of it. And Tyler Harkers, I hope you had a great time. I hope you had a blast. I hope you partied 
hard or gambled in Vegas, you know, or did whatever you like to do, right? I hope you did whatever it is you like to do. I'm a little jealous. I'm back here in Pennsylvania. It's snowing. I have a cold. There's some fuzzy flowing around in here. So yeah, I'm a little jelly, you know? Going to Walmart, kitchen freaking colds, whatever. I don't even know. I don't know. But shout out to the day, Tyler Harkers for one. Shout out to the day number two is going to be Tony T. My man, Tony T. Because I like that pick on the Bulls yesterday against the Mavs. Uh, and then, you know what? I got to agree with Chiswick 14 as well. I just said it earlier in the video. I think that the Lightning was a, uh, a like, I hate seeing the word lock. I do. I really do. Because I do not believe in the word lock. There is no such thing in sports betting. And we've seen it all too often where things are locks and then they don't win. So, but lightning was like a, it was, it was, it was like a gimme, you know, minus 135 on the money line. I really like that bet. So yeah, Chiswick 14, you're also my shout out of the day. Mike Scott, I feel like some of your crazy UFC bets got close. Uh, listen, I lost on the Pacers yesterday. They ended up really losing in that fourth quarter. So they take the loss on the home court. And then I had a free play winner on Duplay C over, or, or Duplay C, Darren Till over two and a half. Got there by a couple of seconds, but when it got there, it was a plus 125 bet. So we will take that bet. We'll take that win, you know? So for shout out of the day today, uh, top bet of the day, top fantasy football scorer of the day in the comment section, okay? Free play of the day. Remember this, right? Football Sunday, okay? Football Sunday. We're going Jets. We're going Jets. 1 p.m. Eastern time. So we're going Jets plus 10. And then we're going to go Milwaukee Bucks minus 10. That's all you got to remember. So 1 p.m. Eastern time, New York Jets at Buffalo Bills. Free play today. We're taking New York Jets plus 10. I'm going with the Jets again. People are probably going to hate to see it. I think I'll probably split on the Jets. I got to go back and really look. But I know I've bet on the Jets a lot this year. I know they have won for me quite a bit. I know they have lost for me as well. But I'm taking them again today against the Bills at Buffalo too. It's Mike White season. The fans are wearing their Mike F in white t-shirts. Love to see it. The Jets defense is good. Is good. They gave Josh Allen trouble last time. I know Josh Allen's going to want to come back and try to fix that this time, right? Buffalo has been the showstopper all year, so it's hard to bet against the Bills. I know that. They are really good. They are, the Buffalo Bills are Super Bowl good. They are AFC Championship good, you know? I expect to see them there. I think we will. I think we all, ex I think we all do. I think we all expect to see them there. It's hard to bet against the Bills. Yes, it is. As for the Jets, I'm sorry. I'm still salty about last week because they lost. They were close to winning the game outright multiple times, and they not only did not win, but they did not cover the three, which is crazy, against Minnesota. You know, I know everybody's going to be on Bills in this game. I already know it. I don't want to deter you from taking the, who you like if you're already on the Bills, but I'm taking the Jets today. Buffalo did have extra time to prepare for this game. And again, Josh Allen, last game against the Jets, had some mistakes, so he's going to be looking to clean that up today. I do think the Jets must score touchdowns. They cannot get away with field goals to win this game. And the Jets are able to get the ball downfield. They, and then in the red zone, they fall apart. That's got to change today. Is it going to be a blowout? We're going to find out. Jets are a good cover team. They're 6-3 and three to, against the spread their last nine. I'm going Jets. Free play of the day, New York Jets plus 10. And then at 7.10 p.m. Eastern time, Milwaukee Bucks at the Houston Rockets. Free play of the day, I'm taking Milwaukee Bucks minus 10. So there you have it. We're taking in Jets plus 10 in football. We're taking the Milwaukee Bucks minus 10 in basketball. Let's go. Sunday, fun day, $19.99. Let's have a good day. As always, good luck. God bless. Right on, baby. Cheers.